didn't have a third down conversion until the fourth quarter. What, what do you guys think was the key on third down tonight? You had some long down distance that you put them in, but what do you think was the key there? Uh, I think we had a great game plan. Uh, Coach Fraze and Sean uh, put us put us uh, put together a great game plan for us to be able to go out there and execute. Um, our D line was getting after the quarterback, um, you know, and it was just it was a fun game to be a part of. A uh, fun game to win at home, and take the AFC East. But uh, um, credit to our credit to our front; those guys were eating all game, um, and uh, you know, it was fun. Like I said, a fun game to play. Have you guys talked to Trey? Yeah, yeah, we just got off FaceTime. FaceTime. What, what do you say? He's excited for us. Yep. He's excited to be a part of this journey. I'm sure he's itching to get back. Um, but he said he was at home doing his his ankle rehab or his uh, knee rehab, some of his mobility stuff. So, um, you know, we definitely miss him. Michael, Michael, what's it mean to be part of a defense that held an opponent, even an undermanned opponent, though, to, to, to four first downs and um, I think it was 53 yards passing? Um. You know, it's just a uh, it's just a blessing to be a part of this defense. Honestly, <clears throat> um, you know, we we show up each and every week of practice. You know, we try to get better. Um, we emphasize takeaways and D line getting after the quarterback and you know back seven getting after the football. Um, and it's just it, it, it's honestly just a blessing, and that just goes to show you know what we're able to do tonight. You know, just the love that we have on this defense and guys just you know just want to go out there and play for each other. And and you know that's what they did tonight. How important, though, the, the, the times that you know, there were some short fields that you guys faced to, to get off the field knowing, you know, what was what was on the line and, and the offense was having some three and out issues of its own? Um, you know, we always we always emphasize it doesn't matter what the what the offense is doing on their side of the ball. Uh, whatever position we're put in, um, you know, like Poe always says, defend the blade of grass. Uh, and that's what we try to do. And so we get put in those positions. Um, I, th <clears throat> I think the... The one they got the ball in like the twenty, and they ended up third down going out like the thirty or something like that. Keep the field goal to, uh, which you know obviously we wish we wouldn't give up many points, but this is the mindset that we have. Uh, I, know, I know Jordan had a sack in this game, so did Milano. But what's gotten into your guys' front lately? I mean, they're like you said, they're eating. I mean, it's not just today. I mean, I think they got twenty sacks in their last four games. The boys work hard, man. The boys work hard. Um, they come in to get, come in to. <laughs> To say. I know what you're about to say. Uh, they come into work really every week, um, you know, with a great game plan and rushing attack. Um, those guys are a huge, huge part of what we do on defense. And you know, uh, when they when they go, we all go. So it's, uh, it's fun. like like Micah says, fun, fun group to be a part of. For whoever wants to answer, I don't want the other guys to be excluded. But let, let, me, let me. I want Terry. Can you guys uh, give a give your thoughts on how the adjustment since Tredavious's injury? How you guys came together, a lot of people saw that as a loss, and boy, you're not going to be able to overcome that. How did you guys deal with that? Uh, like I said, uh, we got a great group of guys, um, guys that just come in ready to work. Is Dane up here? Yeah, I mean, Dane, he's been ready since he's came in the building, um, just kind of waiting for his moment. Um, you know, obviously playing behind Tredavious and behind Levi, just waiting for his moment. And when he's came into the games, he's done everything that we've asked him to do. He's a guy that I know I can trust, both Le both him and Levi. Uh, I give him a call. I know I can trust him, that he knows how to execute. He knows how to run the run the call. And, you know, that's all you can ask for. You know, he's a competitor. Both these two up here, man, these, they, I don't think they get the, enough credit um, around the league. Uh, the, both these guys are just straight ballers um, and, and help our defense out so much. They do some things that allow Mike and I to make plays on the football. Um, so it's just credit to these guys for coming into work every single day. And they're fun teammates. They're great friends. Um, Everybody's excited for Cam. Cam's another one of those guys that just steps in the game <laughs> and always making plays. Hey, Dane, uh, if you can answer this question, you know, we just talked about Vegas, and that was huge cleats to fill. We know that. Take us through these last few weeks of how you've been able to step in and this defense has not missed a beat since he went out, really. Uh, I just got to give big credit to these guys. I mean, they, they have full confidence in me. I mean, all year, you know, even when I come in, and get reps in practice, you know, they they lift me up, you know what I mean? They make sure I'm ready, make sure I'm locked in, tell me what's coming, all that type of stuff. So these guys, these vet guys, you know, they've been doing it for a long time, and I'm just happy I could come in and contribute with them. Jordan, to put in your own words, or, or why it was important for all five of you guys to come out here with Tredavious's jersey, why, you know, at this moment, was this important or significant to you? 
You know, I just think that shows just love that we have for each other. Um, this is the closest group of, yeah, like, these are, my, these are my best friends right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ride and die for these guys on and off the field any day of the week, and even 2-7 right here. So it just goes to show, you know, we've been here, Mike and I have been here five years, Levi four, uh, uh, Taryn four, uh, Dane two. We've just been putting the work in ever since we stepped foot in this building. And so it's extremely special to to win this thing at home, um, win the AFC East at home. And we definitely wish 2-7 was here, but, you know, we know he's going to bounce back. I know the opening goal is still out there, guys, but the I think you guys have the trifecta here. Number one total defense, number one pass defense, number one scoring defense. How many of those were on the list this year at the beginning of the season? Wait, what were those again? Yeah, can you repeat that, those that again? Total defense, pass defense, scoring defense. In the NFL? Number one. Us? Number one? <laughs> Wow. The Bills? You sure? <laughs> hey, that's that's. <laughs> I'm gonna say something I didn't want to say. <laughs> it's crazy. Boys work hard, man. Uh, we do. Boys work hard. Uh, that's. Can you say those numbers again? <laughs> <laughs> work hard. Whole different subject. Do you like being the punt returner? I mean, yeah, I know I, you did a lot before, but I just whatever whatever the coaches asked me to do, I'm here to try to win games, man. So. They throw me back at whatever. I'm going I'm to I'm try to make plays. And specifically tonight, is that strategy letting it bounce most of the time? Is that just because of the wind, the way it was tonight? That wind was crazy. It was like, that was like uh, the, the Monday night game against New England. Um, it was Buffalo. So and I've been here for a few years catching punts, so I understand that ball gets up there. It's, it, you know, it's tough to, especially when the points are going all over the place, uh, it's hard to read where the ball is going. So, yeah, I wasn't uh, – it wasn't about that life tonight. <laughs> let, let it bounce. Whoever we play, you know, we're going to prepare accordingly and try to get a win. Mike, what's the mindset when the offense is struggling the way the way it was, you know, in the defensive huddle? Um, honestly, like we don't even we don't even pay attention. We just go out there and, like I said, just try to do what we can do to create turnovers. Um, to put them in good field position. Hey, that's the only thing that we care about. And and like I said, if <clears throat> if we have to defend a blade of grass, we'll do it. And you know, as a defense, we we work on that a lot in practice. Um, and it is what it is at that point. It would could be Jordan, Mike, any of you guys. But we talked to Josh about this. What's different about this team this year? Josh made the point to say every team is different. And whether it's you won four straight after taking a couple of a couple of tough losses down the stretch, whatever it is. Can you define that at this point as you start to look toward the postseason, given all the experience that you guys have? I, I just think this team is this team is Buffalo through and through. I just feel like we've we failed. Um, we've learned our lesson. We've uh, yeah, after those losses, we've learned. We've got back in the building. We've worked, um, and that's just that's just how we've we got down. We just work hard. Um, we play with a chip on our shoulder, and. You know, it's kind of just that blue collar way. It's Buffalo. I mean, like you said, uh, guys come in, just put their head down and work. I mean, obviously, we've taken some heat throughout the season, the ups and downs. I think uh, just being able to handle those ups and downs throughout the season, I think our team did a, an excellent job doing that. Um, we bounced back from losses, some tough losses, uh, where everybody counted us out. Um, everybody was, you know, saying our defense can do this, can do that, offense can do this, can do that, but. Nobody panicked. Nobody, nobody read into it. Everybody just came into work um, every day and just worked, you know. And that's, you know, that's really all you can do. Um, I think in this league, it's all about how you handle adversity and how you handle good situations and bad situations. Because, you know, good stuff happens in the game. You gotta be able to move through it and make, say you get a pick early on. You gotta be able to move through it and, and lock back in the next throw or or say, shoot, I, I had a, I had a bad play out there today um, on the touchdown. Uh, I had. Play, had Trace called a great call. I just mistimed it, and uh, they scored. But just being able to bounce back after that, and, and finding ways to 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 play the game of football that you know how to play. Thanks, guys.